Legendary stand-up comedian George Lopez is joining forces with world-renowned NFT artist Ali Sabet. And it's all to raise money for a good cause. Well, together they have created the Chacha Lucha Collection, this colorful Mexican wrestling art, which will be available tonight via an NFT auction. I sat down with the two of them to talk all about this, plus find out what George Lopez is up to now. Actor and comedian George Lopez joining us along with artist Ali Sabet. All right, Ali, I'm going to start with you on this. What is an NFT? How do you describe that to people? NFTs are called non-fungible non tokens. It's just, I think, a very fancy way of saying we turn our work into a digital currency. It's way too confusing to even talk about. We're just... <laughs> so many if, if that answer was confusing, could you imagine what my answer would have been like? <laughs> I have no idea what a non-fungible token is. I saw that there was some video of the two of you collaborating on some pieces. Uh, Ali, you would draw a little, George, you would jump. George, was that stressful for you to know that like, I gotta make this just as creative? What am I gonna do here? Well, you know, I've been trying to draw the perfect circle to Ali since I was like 10. <laughs> so I was always doodling and drawing things and caricatures. And you know, I would I would hope that somebody couldn't wouldn't say to me just right off the bat, man, I think I could do what you do. I know I can't do what he does, but I have respect for art. And I have tremendous amount of respect for him as my partner. So when you get to create with a guy like that, and the NFTs in our culture can be completely relatable, but it's just starting for us. That was kind of something we kind of turned on. Some of the proceeds from the NFT auction go to the George Lopez Foundation, which helps children who are dealing with kidney disease. And George, that's something you suffered from. You know, I'm 16 years kidney recipient. And um, so I, I thought when I started to feel better, I thought I got, I got to be able to help other people because to feel good and then leave, turn your back on people was not something that I ever wanted to do. I know that you and your daughter are now working on a show together, Lopez versus Lopez. Do you feel like all of your hard work has paid off? Now it's coming full circle, the two of you joining forces on this show? I, I mean, I would like to uh, feel like that, but when you're divorced and you have a kid, they're not going to let you feel that way. <laughs> so it... it, it uh, <laughs> It's a great idea because fathers and daughters suffer such a strain in relationships when parents are divorced that the kids, I think, gravitate more towards the mom and the dad gets a silent treatment for a few years. But the kids end up coming back around, and this is what the show's about. Hopefully we are on the backside of this pandemic, fingers crossed. George, have you been able to find the humor in any of this? Pretty soon when everybody gets vaccinated or we find a way to get back together again, we can actually sit next to each other. I think married couples will be like, oh man, those, those were the good old days where we had to stay six feet apart. So, but, but you know, kids wanting to go back to school never happens until now. So we, we, got, we, we got that to thank for that. Exactly, I feel like there has been some moments that we never thought were gonna happen. And that's- If my grandmother was homeschooling me after the first day I'd come downstairs, she goes, oh, you had to tell you graduated. You could, you could take off now. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, George Lopez, Ali Sabet. Gentlemen, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you. It was awesome. Right, Thanks, thank George. You.